This is Damon Stephen with Signal Builder. Today is Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. The stock market update for trades of the day. Also, the end of the month. And this month kind of ended down, down for the month. Uh, we had a nice rally up here, you know, earlier into August. And then we had a little pullback here. So, gave back some of those gains from this month. Uh, otherwise, month overall, you know, we ended pretty well. And hopefully, you're profitable this, this month. And we have a lock in some of the profits and hopefully you're able to take advantage of this ride down. So let's get into it, see what's going on, see as we get into September, what to expect. You know, typically September is uh, the lowest month in the year. Um, so do we get do we get that this year? Uh, hard to say right now, other than we are headed in the right direction for um, you know, additional down downward momentum. So let's see if that's gonna reverse at some point here. Maybe September can uh, be an uh, an a different uh, month for us. So let's get right into it, take a look at what's going on on the charts and see what they're telling us and see what we can do to to make some money here. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to our channel, FinWealth Live on YouTube. Uh, so we can continue to bring this content to you and also share this video with others if you think it'll be helpful for them as well. Uh, and, you know, join our community. And we also have a Discord out here. I'm going for free on this one. Uh, and we post our numbers before the market opens on what we're trading, when we're getting in, when we're getting out. That way you uh, can prep your day with us and uh, know what we're looking at. And so definitely go out there and join us. Uh, and we also have some other services as well, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's first get into the charts here. So looking at the Dow Jones, you see here, we just kind of slow grind all the way down and they nice pullback at the, end, at the very end of the day. So we're down 0.88% on Dow. 0.56 on NASDAQ and down 0.78 on S&P 500. Uh, see, we're pretty much right across the board, except for Meta. Meta just had a little pickup day. So Meta was the one that kind of stood out in the market. We also had this NUWE uh, that also um, popped up on the radar and had some good, great volume, 131% change. Did not trade this one, though. We were overall on the overall market versus uh you know, we're looking at uh, the individual um, stock and these small caps. So we did miss that one. So we'll take a look at the morning to see if we can give us some. Now, one thing to, to keep in mind here on Thursday is we have initial job with claims before the market opens. And also, uh, we also have the uh, manufacturing PMI coming out as well uh, and construction spend. So there's some things that could, you know, rock the market if they have any drastic changes based on what it was expected. Then as we come into Friday too, we have an on-farm payroll for employment rates. Uh, and so that could also, you know, give us some volatility in the next couple of days. So just something to be aware of. Um, also, we're always watching, uh, you know, the uh, calls and put ratios. So this is, and red are those who are short in the market with contracts. And the green is those who are long uh, with contracts. Now, obviously you can see here, there's a lot of people short in this market and a lot of puts. And these people right now, where we're sitting here as far as price-wise, you see the max pain is 409. We're definitely below that, we're below these 400. So they're definitely a payoff for you know a few of these people. So at least this group right here is getting a payoff right now. So a lot of times the market will try to uh, to to move in a direction that basically makes uh, you know people that, that have contracts out to lose their money, so the market can keep that money. Um, but lately, uh, market's done pretty good as far as you know being able to collect on the uh, the money maker market makers. So we'll see if that happens again. You know, we'd have to have a nice rally to finish out the week. Otherwise, there's definitely a payoff for uh, these individuals here. So we'll see if we can get a bounce. We've had a few days down. Uh, market kind of flattened out a little bit. We've been consolidating. Uh, and so that typically can lead up to a little bit of a recovery bounce. Uh, so we'll see if that happens at the end of this week. We'll look at earnings here. So Octa and, and Viva is the ones we're looking at for today. Didn't trade these, uh, you know, I looked at them, just didn't move enough for me to, to, to jump in. Definitely be watching Campbell and Hormel in the morning and Tilly's and Blue and Broadcom at the end of the day. Uh, so we'll see if that gives us anything, but otherwise it's been a pretty slow week as far as earnings uh, for me. Um, there's some people that have, you know, have hit some pretty good home runs, but overall um, I've kind of just stayed on the sideline. Uh, on Google, you see here on the daily chart, we're, you know, came down here and hit this low again. So we got three days on the low. Uh, we're not down the bottom here. So uh, we, we have a wait here before we come down and hit the support line around this 106.62. Um, but, you know, where you're seeing these two candles, 
This one kind of completes this one, they go lower. Uh, and we're at the bottom of this wick here, the top based on this one. Uh, you know, very well could see possibly a little bit of a bounce here on Google. Uh, if not, look for a bounce at least when we get down to this 106.62 area. Uh, Microsoft on a daily basis, you see here, continue pulling down here, not quite down to our, this uh, support line here at 260, uh, which is the bottom of this candle. So, uh, you know, you see a couple of days here right close to it. Just wonder if we need a bounce. I, I, the, the more I look at this, the more it looks like you know, possible bounce, because this is an area where the market bounced before. So uh, look for tomorrow to see if maybe tomorrow or the next day there's a little bit of a bounce or we're flat. Amazon, nice pullback here. Not quite to the support line we have out here at 125.21. So that's kind of what we're expecting. Uh, that would help just kind of fill the rest of this gap in. Uh, so, you know, Amazon's filled with most of the gap, looking for a full gap closure and then a possible bounce. Apple, come down, that's 200 day. That's the kind of next resistance area, 155. Kind of right, close right below our resistance line that we had support line out here. But, you know, Apple did fill the gap in, um, but did not bounce yet. So, you know, the more we're seeing this, the more I wonder if we need a little bounce here. If not tomorrow, maybe Friday. Uh, on Chipotle, you can see here that uh, it continues to pull down. Support here is at 1569. Uh, so we'll see if we get any of that. Uh, there was a slight, just a little gap, you could possibly call the gap right there. Looks like it got filled today. So we're definitely going through and filling all these gaps in. Uh, looking at uh, NVIDIA, the NVIDIA is kind of right here down on this uh, trend line, right in the middle, the center of this trend line. And you see right last time we were here, we had that little bounce. So do we bounce again? That's, you know, that's to, to, to figure out we were actually below this resistance line. So we could very well come down here to 142. Uh, but we'll see if we get a, a little bit of a bounce here like we did before uh, on NVIDIA. We can at uh, the overall. So S&P 500 stock above the 16 moving average. We talked about this, you know, several days ago. Now we hit, we were consolidating at the top. 92% of all companies. Uh, typically, we've been 77, 78, 76. That's kind of area before we pull back. Uh, we hit 92, so 90%. So that was very, very bullish. Uh, and you see here, we dropped off, clear down. Now it's only 41% of companies. So we lost over half the companies that were over the 50-day the moving average, meaning that they were in a bullish uh, momentum. Uh, all have uh, lost that. Uh, so uh, that's that's challenging. You can see here we, we put in some pretty low lows in the past. So you know, definitely expecting this to really come down at least maybe down to 33 or a little bit lower on uh, on the number of companies that are below the 50-day moving average. Looking at the 10-year yield, we broke out of this wedge, very bullish, uh, and moving up towards these highs. You can see right now we're sitting right here at the top of this, uh, right here, this um, resistance area that we should have had right here, and also this candle, these two candles right here. So this should be holding for resistance. If we break above it, uh, then, you know, obviously you can keep moving higher, uh, but this should have been resistance and we are breaking above that. So looking for, you know, continuation play possibly, you know, back up here to, you know, maybe uh, 3, 330. So just something to keep an eye on. A US two-year yield bond, Usually climbed, got these new highs coming in here. We can afford to possibly continue up towards, you know, 3.7. We do uh, just look for the market to continue to, to struggle. I mean, money's moving into uh, the bonds. And also with the U.S. dollar continue to go up, uh, we had a little bit of a bounce today. Uh, that puts a heavy burden on the, the stock market as well because money's moving into cash, moving into the dollar. Uh, you look at the gold, obviously when the dollar goes up, gold goes down. And so, you know, very well, we can back, come back here and retest these lows uh, based on kind of where we're at today. So definitely uh, gold is looking very weak. U.S. oil is kind of in this chop shop. This is, uh, you know, range back and forth. So if we continue. Might even be down here to the 6980 area by the week, unless we bounce early and pull, and pull back up. But... Right now, just kind of continuing that. Uh, yeah. VIX hit our, you know, this wedge here, hit the, the re and found the resistance there, pulled back here. 
Now string consulting for a couple of days is still high. As long as it stays above 25, you know, we could have more down dates in the market. So just uh, be aware of that. And on a weekly basis, you can see we're still above um, that resistance area. We're getting with the SPY, the S&P 500 on daily chart. You can see here, we just kind of pulled up. This is a bullish momentum we had. And now we kind of sold that off and we're off. Right almost to our support line down here at 393. I told you to talk about this in the video. And we talked about this also a few months ago when we were back in this area. It's a, it's a big uh, challenging area for the S&P 500. So we got a whole 393. And hopefully get a bounce here sometime. We've had several you know, down days. So uh, we're, we're, we're definitely due for a bounce here. Uh, if we don't bounce and we break this next 393 area, we very well could start coming back down towards those lows. So just something to be aware of on a weekly basis right at the support line here, you know, just right above it, into this candle is where we're at. So we want to bounce here. If not, we, uh, you know, again, we'll start to come probably much lower. It may put a new low end. Triple Qs. Um, so again, we're kind of at a level where I would expect some type of bounce. Uh, semiconductors pulling back here. Got both need the support line here just slightly. So looking for a bounce play on semiconductors as well. IWM sitting right at, right below our support line, right between these two candles, right where we broke out. So definitely, I think I, I, we have a greater chance of uh, having a, a pop here, uh, even if it's temporary, than we are more downside, but could be wrong. So it's not financial advice, just giving you my thoughts based on what I'm looking at. Looking at Excel, uh, the uh, financials here, you can see it looks like we're uh, looks like we're almost to the support line here, which was this candle here, which is where we broke out. So it looks like we almost tagged it. We didn't quite um, tag it today, um, so we'll see. But right now we're in this little range here that we talked about last night. Uh, healthcare sector continues to show the weakness. We're down now to our next support line. We break that down. Now we got 125, you know, 23 is the kind of the next area of support. Bitcoin is flat, it's just really flat, it's sitting here on that right, right on that 20. So we'll see if this weekend brings some more as we get in this weekend. We do have a holiday coming up. Uh, so next week will be a shortened week. We'll have only four days. Uh, so uh, just be aware of that. Um, but yeah, Bitcoin, don't know if we're, what we're going to get as far as action. Ethereum, kind of just creeping slowly up there, but still we got resistance ahead. So it's got to be able to break up above this 1560 area if it wants to keep going. Otherwise, we'll just end up breaking back down again. Yeah, but definitely, definitely join us. Um, that's all our secret, uh, stocks and cryptos. I'd love to have you join our Discord. Just go to finlovelive.com. You'll see a link to it. Just click on it, and I'll take you and get you all set up. And if you do want to join our membership at some point, I'd definitely love to have you join us. Join our community. We have live trading, training courses, group training, and one-on-ones really to help you to kickstart if you're having struggling or you're looking for new ideas. I uh, definitely have a lot of them out there. So definitely love to have you uh, take advantage of that uh, and join us. Uh, and just, you know, be prepared to learn, learn something new. So that's all we have for tonight. We'll talk to you tomorrow night, get you prepped for the next day. Uh, but I'd just love to have you, you know, participate with us in the morning uh, pre-market. Uh, so give us a try and uh, good luck in trading out there. Let's, uh, let's wrap up and, and start this new month on a positive note. Let's stay green all month. Everybody uh, take care. Talk to you tomorrow.